not doing the testing or the testing levels that we should be doing. Um, and so I think that that's really critical for us to increase our, our testing capacity again, to really get a, get a good sense about what is actually happening, because that's really going to be critical for us to manage um, the, the next few months. Because, as you've already said, we've seen what has happened where the risk adjustments have occurred in the UK, the United States and Europe, that as you've opened up your society, greater movement, larger numbers of people come into contact with each other, the more likelihood there are going to be super spreader events and infections occurring. And also remember, asymptomatic spread is, is one of the major routes for spreading. And so it's really critical that we keep a good handle on where we are with this particular epidemic at this particular phase in order for us to make those decisions about, you know, do we, how do we manage the risks? Mm. Do we go back to a level two or what combination do we have in order for us to still continue and open our society, but at the same time also because we're still seeing deaths, that means there are vulnerable people out there. How do we protect and shield those particular individuals?